Welcome to Brothers Workshop. I'm Dave, and this is our shop. Today we're going to be showing you guys how to build a custom cowboy hat rack. Because some of you guys may have a few of these laying around the house and want to display them. Personally, I got a couple. They're just sitting on my shelves in the closet. What I want to do is get these things out. Either mount them on the wall, or have a system where they're sitting on the top of the entertainment center display. Uh, really like the way they look in the room bring that extra little flavor. Um, the project today is not gonna cost that much. I think it was $12, $13 total. Uh, we're gonna use a couple of bolts, some wood that we had laid around, and some more shoes. It's gonna add a little bit of extra flavor to the room. Stay tuned. To begin this project, you'll need a power drill, paddle bit for countersinking, regular drill bit, the same diameter as the bolts you'll use, socket or crescent wrench, and a pair of pliers. You'll also need four bolts, four washers, 12 nuts, and four horseshoes. To begin the project, we lay out our bolt pattern. We made a mark five inches from the right-hand side of the board we chose to use, and we went ahead and did the same on the left-hand side. This gives us a somewhat average center for the inside of a cowboy hat. The remaining number between the two marks was 45, and so what we did was split that and made a mark every 15 inches between. These marks then became our points for the drill. Now that we've made those marks, we're going to take a horseshoe, line it up at the center of each mark, and find the center point of the back end of that horseshoe. Once we've done that, we've identified the center point which we will drill through. Next step is to countersink using our paddle bit so that the back end of the bolt sits flush below the surface of the wood. We then take our regular drill bit, drill completely through so that our bolt connection is solid. Because we chose to use Diamond brand horseshoes, we use their M in the logo to identify the drill point for the back end of the horseshoe. Our next step is to then spray paint our hardware. We were trying to achieve a rustic industrial aesthetic for this piece, and so what we wanted to do was to bring a dark color palette. While we waited for the paint to dry, we moved on to staining our baseboard. We chose to use a Minwax product, and the color we chose was Driftwood. Ended up being a little too light for us, so we went back and actually mixed stains, which I'll explain later on. Our hardware had dried enough, or at least enough to the point where we thought that we'd be okay with putting on a second coat. So we reversed all the pieces that hadn't been painted at this point.
Now that our wood finish has dried and our paint has dried, we're going to go ahead and begin the assembly process by threading the bolts through the wood as well as then threading our washers across the bolt and our first nut at the bottom to securely fasten the bolt to the base of the wood. Now that all bolts have been fastened, you can see that we will have to go back and do some touch-up painting. Just the process of threading those bolts across painted surface is just going to strip that. Not, for, not all of it, but some of it will be stripped. The final step in the process would be to then thread our second nut onto the bolt, going down about an inch so that we leave room for the horseshoe and our third nut. We then thread the third nut, being sure it is to not go past the top of the bolt. And finally, we secure the horseshoe by tightening from the bottom up. We then touched up any paint that had been stripped and added a second coat of stain. It was at this point in the staining process that we chose to add a darker color uh, in this case, it was Dark Walnut, another Minwax product that was able to give us the aesthetic we were trying to achieve. And that's it guys, super simple, easy to do. Get your cowboy hats out of the closet, out in the living room, on display like they should be. And that's it, 20 bucks, can't beat that. Just some hardware, some lumber, and some horseshoes. Um, if you guys like the video, definitely comment below. If you wanna see more content like this, let us know. Uh, we always appreciate hitting the like button. And if you wanna see more stuff like this, subscribe and hit the notification. We're coming out with stuff all the time. 